this is my GFH Pygmy Warrior, and I'm doing a review of it. And um, you might be looking at this and be like, "That looks just like the uh, the Pygmy Splatter or the Pug." Well, you're right. It's the same exact thing, except the Pygmy Splatter doesn't have this little like Macho Man on it, and uh, the Pug doesn't have like the graphic, I think, and it's got like, stripes in the grip tape instead of the little leaf thing, which is pretty cool. Um, this board, really cheap. Got it for 110 bucks. Um, yeah, and the pug costs a little more, so I don't see why you would want to buy it, because it's the same board. Um, now, my favorite part about this board is these trucks. You can see them, they're three inch old school trucks. And they've got these lime green bushings in them. Wait, where? There we go. They got these lime green bushings. Uh, there. Cairo bushings, and they're pretty cool. They, like, it turns really sharp. And the wheels have a lot of grip, so they don't, like, slide out when you're turning. The bearings are ABEC 5, and, like, if you don't like them, you can change them, but they're pretty fast, so I don't see why you would. Uh, they have Cairo risers, so you don't get wheel bite. Got this little dip right here, so you don't get wheel bite. One of the biggest problems that a lot of people have when they're when they want to buy one of these boards is that they think it's really cool, but then they think that maybe their feet will get put into an awkward position if they have it. When no, that doesn't happen. Like my feet when I'm on this board have a lot of room. I can even do cross steps and stuff, I, but I have like small feet, but even if you have big feet, it's not going to do that much because even though the tail's skinny, as you can see, you can still like, you're going to spend most, your foot probably won't be on the tail, and if it is, you're only going to have the tip of your foot, like just your, the ball of your foot on it, not your whole foot, and um, if you do have your whole foot on it because you're like carving or something, you're probably going to have it like up here. Right when you get the board, the bushings are going to be a little stiff, so you're probably going to want to loosen the trucks up a little bit, and I think eventually they'll get a little softer, and if you don't want to loosen them up, gradually they'll get softer and softer, and you'll be able to turn harder, but if you really want to turn that hard off the back, just loosen them up until you feel comfortable, but make sure you don't like take the screws off, because that would not be good. As you can see, I've had this board for about like two days yeah so I don't know why I'm really writing this review but as you can see already it's a little chipped up but I mean it doesn't it's not it's not like broken chip the paint just kinda comes off and I've got those like all around the board from when I fall and it just kinda like skits out but it doesn't affect the performance at all so the paint chips on the side but the wood doesn't it's got five plies and it's like if you ride right over the trucks it's pretty stiff but if you want to like turn a little harder you just put your feet in the middle and you can get put the, some flex into your turns and uh, about flex uh, it's got if you have just like I said if you have your feet kind of towards the middle and you're pumping like you can really feel the flex and it feels really good and if you're doing like some tricks where you kind of like caveman onto it or drop onto it or something. That flex really like helps you catch so you don't just kind of doesn't just spit out from underneath your feet. The grip tape on this board is one of the coolest parts about it because as you can see, it's sparkly. Yeah, it sparkles. That's sweet. And it's got this little leaf cut out, which is pretty sweet. And it looks pretty cool because you got like the black grip tape and then like the bright orange or bright green or bright yellow, whichever color board you get. Um, speaking of colors, my favorite, like one of my favorite parts about this is the colors because it's just all bright and vibrant. So if you're riding in the dark, you can't really lose your board because you can just see the orange or the green or the yellow. And like you see, it's just very vibrant and orange. It's pretty cool.
Uh, another thing is speed wobble. I haven't gone too fast on this, but I've gone like 15 miles an hour, maybe. And um, it wasn't that bad. I hadn't loosened the trucks up much, so maybe once they're looser, it'll be a little worse. But, I mean, if you know how to skate, you can control it, hopefully. And if you know how to control it, then you'll be good to go. And carving on this thing feels really cool. So you got like that flex, and then you got these wheels that really stick, and you got these little three inch trucks. It's just really cool. Also, this board has, um, on their website, you can't really see how much tail it has because they don't give you like a side view. So I'll give you that now. That's what it looks like. So you can see like how high the tail is, which isn't much. But with that tail, if you just put your foot right on the edge of it and you uh, just kind of lift up, you can get over cracks in the sidewalk. Anything that you would need to do that for. I mean, you can even manual on these things. It works out. And the nose, you can do nose manuals and stuff. And uh, it's just a really fun board all around. Yep. So if you want a mini and you don't know what to buy, uh, this is definitely the board for you. Because it's got these three inch trucks, once again, which are awesome. It's Cairo bushings, which rock. These wheels, which are sticky, and the bearings roll. Nice. That one's a little messed up, but. Um, oh, this is cool. It's got this little. The warrior has this little thing. Which, the pygmy. And then. It's just good board. It's got flex. It's got the little. Uh, leaf. It's got the sparkly grip tape. It's got everything you need for cheaper than the other boards that are worse than it. Thank you, good luck, and good night. What I meant to say was good night and good luck. So now I'm going to put up some videos of me riding it and the information on where to buy it will be over here in the info box. So if you want to get one of these because of this helpful review, just go over here and click the link I give you and you're good to go. Like a steak in the heart